Hey guys! Welcome back to Sip, Savor, and Celebrate. We are here for our Whiskey Wednesday That's with right. our friend Weller. That's right. And if you don't oh, know, grab the bottle. You left it over there. <laughs> you know, our merchandise manager slacking <laughs> on his job again. <laughs> so first of all, I wanna I wanna say what a difficult bottle this has been to track down. At a fair price. And even the price I paid was not fair. So the kind of funny thing is, is here in Michigan, Weller Full Proof, the minimum shelf price for this bottle is 50 bucks. I couldn't find it for anything online. I couldn't find anything less than $380. I did work a deal with Jack. Jack, you were my guy. I appreciate you tracking this down for me, and, and 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 I understand we're still above minimum shelf price by a lot, um, but you did get it for me for 180 bucks, which, again, online you can't find it for anything less than 380. So I appreciate you helping the channel out, and um, do me a favor, tell us all about this. First off, look at the glasses. Yeah, you I already swirled that, and I'm like, God damn, those those legs are huge and long it's and just stick something. in there. And yeah, it's, look at this. It's like a crystal like that you're looking through, and I'm like, ooh. Look how Anywho, dark this is. So though. Weller, also known as, you know who? No, but I want Buffalo you to Trace. Yes, it is a Buffalo Trace so, product. So it is Buffalo Trace, and just they like are distilling this with a special blend of wheat and rye. So that means their the corn is going to be lower in this batch than most of what they make, heavier on the wheat and heavier on the rye. No malt is is presented in this. Well, one. it's still a bourbon, so that Correct. means it has to be at least 50 uh 51% corn. Correct. But it's still probably just that 51. Some of the other ones we had were a little bit higher. You got it on the palate. You got it on the nose. Where this one is going to be higher in the the wheat and rye. Okay. I lost track. <laughs> so I see that it says on the front uh, that it is 57% uh, alcohol by volume, which puts us at 114 proof. Uh-huh. Um, um, and when they make this, they actually use... Chill filtration. Okay. Um, and that is what preserves the residues and the oils that are naturally in this part in this bourbon. Um, and so at a cold temperature, you're going to see during distillation that it's actually cloudy. It looks like it's having um, an issue with, you know, the fermentation and whatnot. Like, you know, tequila, if, it's, if it comes out cloudy, you've, you've got a bad batch. Yeah. Not this one. This one is actually intended to do that because of its cool. Um, it's a very, very nice and and sweet corn. Some honey, maybe, but spicy. So I'm thinking there's some like a little bit of pepper. And this is a high proof, so these I've actually had a moment to set out, guys, and kind of breathe. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Not like that one that was like knocking me on. Dude, my I love that rye. But that was the uh, that was the Jack Daniels. The rye. The I love that. Forty proof, dude. But but I also love that hundred and forty proof uh, tequila. You did. You did. You did. That was so. That good. was hilarious because Sergio was like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa! Don't just just sip, just sip, just sip." It was just like. Rrr. It was just a sip. <laughs> hundred and forty proof tequila. That was so good, though. I'm uh, not gonna lie. If I could get a bottle of that, <laughs> we'd be drinking that regularly. Okay, so what are you ta talking about your nose again? I got a nice sweet corn, a little bit of allspice and cinnamon, some honey. Boy, that 9 o'clock is really nice. So, 
I am going the other way, and I'm actually going with what they're saying on the nose. So I get the cherry out of it. I get the dried fruit. I get the sweetness and the caramel. Okay, maybe like dried apricot? Cherries. Dark cherries, specifically. I do find that. And it is very beautiful. It's nice. Um, this is a favorite of I a lot. I do of get the wheat though. Um, it is very kind of wheat forward to me. I do get that. Yeah, I agree. I Which do, I, do I agree prefer wheat. a wheat beer. So if you ask me, you know, how do you know what wheat smells like? Because I prefer a wheat beer. Just um, walk through a wheat field. I'm not sniffing wheat field. <laughs> <laughs> I picture somebody walking through with their hands going through a wheat field kind of like in the um, the movie what was that movie where Kurt Russell's or not Kurt Russell um, Russell Crowe mm-hmm. uh, Gladiator yep. he's walking through the wheat field that's what I picture that was tangent <laughs> it's nice I mean it's really nice let's, smelling let's go in that's what she said. Yeah, I'm trying to take a sip. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, I see you. Really? What do you see? I see the bottle. <laughs> but, um... At least it's not dead people. <laughs> Oh, that is nice. It's like a toasted... There's a light toast to the wheat. Undertone of... Dried fruits. Maybe a little honey. I don't know where you're getting this honey from. You don't taste the honey. I don't get a honey. I do. I'm like, okay, come on. Come on, you got to hit this one on the head. Tell us all. You got to hit this one on the head. Great one, Devin. Tell us all (laughs) what you get. Well, being that I haven't really looked at it. Oh, here we go. I apologize in advance. But they say creme brulee and chocolate is is what you should be getting out on the palate. I I thought you were on the chocolate train. Like, I, I was waiting for you to, like, say... And tell Oswald there that, hey, this one has chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. Hmm. Boy, that last sip was like a bitter dark chocolate. Bitter. I get a nice milk chocolate. Get a nice caramel. A nice cream. A nice um, kind of st- allspice, pepper, cinnamon. I think that rye definitely adds the spice to to complete the all around flavor. How long did did it say how long they're keeping it in the barrel? Mm-mm. So I feel like I'm getting some char from the barrel. I can agree with that. It's good. I don't know if it's my favorite bourbon, but I think it's good. It is good, but I think there's still one that holds a candle to it better. Please enlighten us all. I think Penelope is that. I was thinking the same thing. I like the Penelope. I don't know why I like that Penelope. I can't put my finger on it. I'm not mad. And I'm getting that there's a there is a sweetness, but I don't think it's honey. There is a sweetness undertone to that that I am getting now. But I think that's kind of the corn coming through. Sweet corn, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's honey. I think to me that I would call that the the sweet corn coming through. Hmm. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. Well, we got it done. That was a. I'm not even gonna lie. This has been one of the more difficult bottles for me to find. 
tequila and bourbon alike. And nose wise too. <laughs> this has been a very difficult bottle to find. I'm glad I was able to get it. Uh, again, thank you, Jack, over at Zatoon um, in Royal Oak. Um, make sure you check those guys out. They're a really bunch of great guys. And and when you see us on this TV screen, make sure you oh, say... Oh, no, that, well, 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 that's a different one. Make sure you say, we follow them. <laughs> and they send us for more spirits. Uh, yeah, that was a different... That was a different one. Anywho, well, <laughs> hey guys, it's hard to keep We're all, fun. all We're of our fun. stores that that definitely keep us in business That's in right. line. We appreciate each and every one of them. The list keeps growing. I mean, we've got Royal, we've got Eastman, we've got Royal, we've got Zatoon, we've got the other one there, <laughs> and, and uh, you, yeah, you, Royal Oak. Oh, uh, the Red Wagon. Red Wagon, yeah. yeah yep. You also um, got, um, they're in um, uh, Lake Orion, the Orion Wine and Spirits. Yep. That was the other one with um, Brandon. He was a nice guy. Yup. We've got, um, uh, let's see, all of our friends in Indiana. Um, oh, yeah. The Gays. Gays, Hops, Hops and Schnapps. <laughs> Gays, Hops, and Schnapps. <laughs> um, we've got now New York. Oh, yeah. Yorkshire. If you're in New York, check out Yorkshire. Sam, he was really helpful in helping us get a bottle that we've been searching for. And so, I mean, as, as Sip, Saver, and Celebrate grows, we hope you are following us along on this journey because we are loving it. We are making connections. Um, we've got Benchmark. We've got a Tutu. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. We've got some Rock, great yeah. ones. And, and guys... We have been invited back to Mexico as well for a second tour. Stay tuned because we got to figure that we one out. Ha we do. <laughs> um, and then we hope to uh, get down to Kentucky and bring you some some bourbon we distilleries. We have to do that. Um, I I'm excited about that. So we have to. Do so that. I think I might start, uh, you know, kind of getting that train going and seeing if we can uh, make some connections and go from there. But mm -hmm. hey. We hope that as you watch us on this beautiful Wednesday, you remember to always sip, savor, and, and celebrate. Salute. And no fish are harmed in the filming of this episode.